Death Valley Days. Leprechaun. One dictionary says that's a pygmy goblin in Irish folklore. Another one says it's an Irish elf supposed to guard buried treasure. Would you believe that a young Irishman wandered into a wild, wide-open mining camp, the future site of Helena, Montana, looking for a pot of gold at the foot of a rainbow and found the leprechaun of Last Chance Gulch? Everything all right, boys? Yeah. <laughs> I do mind if I do. Would you be the proprietor? What can I do for you? I'm Thomas Cruz from the County Cavern in Ireland, and... And you just hit town, and you're broke, and you saw the sign outside, and you're looking for Pat McGarvey, the miner's friend. Would you kindly direct me to the gentleman? That'd be a long, hot trip. McGarvey died of too many friends a year ago. Uh, oh, would you by any chance be the poor man's widow? May he rest in peace. I would. Oh, and such a pretty Colleen, and so young. The answer is no. No free drinks, no handouts, no if and maybe grub steaks for busted out miners, Irish or otherwise. I've never asked for anything I didn't earn. You heard what the lady said. I didn't yell for any help. I was me around, honey. You don't have to yell. I have no quarrel with you, and you have none with me. So kindly take your hands off. Why, well, you feisty Irish pup? That's grounds for a quarrel. Now, what are you going to do about it? Prepare to defend yourself. <laughs> Come on, put him up! Put him up! <laughs> I only had me a dial and brick. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh. oh, now, there's two of a kind. If you've quite finished, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Hampert. Yes, sir. Such a nice looking young fella, too. <laughs> well, well, what did you expect? Big hunk of lard Mitchell never picked on anyone his own size in his life. He's not apt to begin now. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, you know, I, 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 I've got to be getting home. Get on with you now. You hear me? Here, come on. Get... Oh, well. So a decent body can't even have a quiet drink without somebody coming in and disturbing the peace. Come on, Ned. You never saw the light of it. Spades preservers. It's him. That jig. You were doing his jig? What are you talking about, jig? I just burned me dad blasted finger. Yeah. Name is Brown. Ben Brown. 
called you home last night after they ran you out of the saloon. Uh, saloon. I remember now. Come on, get to the table, Grubbs on. Well, what are you talking at, sir? Well, why are you talking at me the like of that? I had me dream again. The same one I had back in Drum Lumman. That's near to listen to her in the county cabin. I'm thinking that's where you should have stayed. Oh, I couldn't. Not after I had me dream. They saw the leprechaun. Just as plain as I see you. I, just like you. Him at the foot of a rainbow. Dancing a jig. And pointing with a forked stick to a mountain of gold. And you. That same turned up nose. At those ears. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, now, wait a minute. I'm not going to sit here and be insulted under my own roof. Oh, I'm sorry. But you, you're the spitting image of the leprechaun in me dream. <laughs> I'm thinking Mitchell scrambled your brains more than I figured. <laughs> Have you ever panned for float? Oh, not much. I uh, blast a little hard rock in Colorado. Just come from there. Not, nothing much around here except float. And not much of that. You have to pan for it. I remember when I came here in 64. I thought I was going to strike it rich. And when I did, I was going to buy myself a fancy rig and ride around and let the people look at me. A millionaire. <laughs> I'm lucky to pan enough to keep body and soul together. But you know, the other miners up and down the gulch, they all sold out to Mr. High and Mighty Hanford. And who might he be? He's the man who pays the man who ran you out of Mrs. McGarvey's last night. Mitchell. Ah. Crawl to him in your belly and he'll give you a job digging for day wages. Well, I'll not be crawling to Mitchell. Because I didn't come all the way to America just to swing a pick for day wages. Ah, uh, good for you. Ah. You could stick around and pan for shares. It's not much, but it's more than you've got now. Whatever you say. Yes, sir. Good for you. Let's get going, then. I would you now. Do a little of that jig for me again. Oh, go on with you now. Come on out and get the jig. Well, that's cold. Same jig. He's doing it again. I sweat and he daydreams. Partners. Good morning. There'll be samples out of that rock face. When are you going to stop scratching at that mountain and start doing your share of the panning? I think there's a sizable vein around here. I'm going to have to blast. Who do I talk to in town about getting some uh, dynamite? Dynamite? That's in case I see a rainbow. The one to talk to is Mr. High and Mighty Hanford, if he'll talk to you, which he won't. And if Mr. doesn't see you, which he will. Well, we'll see about it when we go into town tomorrow. Please see. Now keep me out of this, will you? Oh. Keep me out of this, you crazy Irish box hunter, you. You are... Excuse me. Afternoon, Mrs. McGarvey. Yeah, a little business transaction. 
Very little. Mr. Cruz, I'm so sorry about that little misunderstanding the last time you were here. Think nothing of it, dear lady. My, the color pink sure does become young. Why, Mr. Cruz. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. A little business. Just what's so different about this sample? Well, Mr. Hanford, back in Drum Lumpen, that's near to listen to Hera in the county cabin. I asked you about this sample. Well, sir, they had me a dream. And this leprechaun pointed the way with his forked stick to a mountain of gold. A whole mountain. Leprechaun. Aye. Where is this mountain? Well, he uh, hasn't exactly shown me yet. But even if he had, I'd rather not say till I've staked my claim. I'm not in the habit of stealing claims, Mr. Cruz. I'm sure you're not, Mr. Hanford. You have the cash to buy them with. And I don't buy ore samples. I wouldn't expect you to. A man of your knowledge and experience. All I'm asking is a loan of some dynamite to blast that mountain. Then we'll talk a deal. Then if it's worth your while, that's soon enough to talk money. All right, Irish, out. Let him alone. What? I said let him alone. Well, Mr. Cruz, I'm going to play a hunch on your uh, leprechaun. Mr. Mitchell will see that you get the dynamite before you leave. I'll be thanking you, sir. Oh, you don't mind. What was that all about? Shut up. Are you all right? Oh, Are you all right? No, huh? no, no. You! You! It's all your fault! You dead blasted Irish minister! You. You, you're no help to me at all! You and your loony talk about rainbows! Now get out of here! Get, go on with you now! Get out! Get out, I tell you! Go on with you! Forked stick! That forked stick! The dream! It's just like in the dream! Don't move! Don't move! Don't move. Towards that sheer rock face. Look, man. Look. Look at the colors around here. Green trees, red and yellow flowers. And the sky, the sky is blue as me mother's eyes. It's a rainbow, Ben. The face you just pointed to. It's me pot of gold. It's our pot of gold! Thinks I'm gonna do all the work while he goes chasing rainbows. Well, he's got another thing. Granite in a bit of shale. Perfect. Afternoon, Mr. Hanford. 
I like to keep an eye on my investments, Mr. Cruz. Indeed, indeed. You have a right to know what you've bought with your dynamite. Especially when I'm dealing with a teller of Irish fairy tales. <laughs> if the mountain of gold is here, we'll make a deal, Mr. Hanford. Why are you being so generous, letting me in on it? Because it'll take a lot of men and equipment and dynamite to blast that gold out. That takes money. Old mountain of gold, eh? The foot of the rainbow. We'll see, Mr. Cruz. Hi. I'll be seeing you again, Irish. I imagine you will. Since is the Lord give a mule. You drove no stakes, you fired no claim, and you let Mr. High and Mighty Hanford walk off free and clear to rob you blind. That's in case he's a thief. <laughs> in case he's a thief. I aim to find out, Ben. If he is, well, then I'll just have to. <laughs> Gallivanting around. I ought to run him off. That's what I ought to do. Oh. I'm not going to feed him. He won't work. He won't eat. Mr. Hanford, sit still. I brought you something. I suppose your leprechaun led you to these. Indeed he did. Hey, fellas. Irish found his pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> I had some samples assayed from your pot of gold. Nothing but slate and granite. I'm afraid your leprechaun was pointing his stick toward the Blarney Stone. <laughs> 
You filed a claim where you thought I was working. Of course, you sort of forgot to mention that. Or the fact that you're a thief, Mr. Hanford. What? <coughs> Come on. Come on. Well, that was most thoughtful, Mrs. McGarvey. My pleasure, Mr. Cruz. Where did you find these? On my claim, Mr. Hanford. Mine and Ben's. I filed on it on my way here. But, but these are... Right from the mother load herself. The assay office just told me. A mountain of gold, Mr. Hanford. Back, gentlemen, back. Precious metal needs breathing room. I'll make you a generous offer for percentage rights. Raise it. What? You're dealing with the Irish now, Mr. Hanford. We're not as easily hoodwinked as others. Have you seen Ben? He was here a while ago. Took his bottle and he left. Ah. Don't you go away. Ben? Oh, Ben. Ben? Ben? Ben! Keep away from me, you crazy Irish galoot! Ben, it's gold! A whole mountain of it! Keep away from me! It's ours, Ben. Yours and mine. Keep your distance. I don't want what's fuzzing you to come rubbing off onto me. Ben, it was there, just like in a dream, waiting for you to show me. Why don't you go soak your head in cold water a couple of times a day? Maybe the... Oh, no, 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 no. You're, you're too far rusted. Ben, look at it. Just look at it. Look, you're a kind of a nice young fella. Why don't you... See, that looks like... Feels like... I... Smells like... I... Holy jumping Jasper's and cheese! It's gold! As sweet and bright as the sun. Congratulations. Ben! It's yours too! We're partners! I may be drunk, but I'm not crazy. Ben! I don't care what you think you are, or what anybody else thinks you are. To me, you're me leprechaun. I never would have found it without you. You're rich, Ben. I am? A millionaire. Now you can buy yourself the fanciest rig in all the land. <laughs> I can. Buy and ride around to your heart's content. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Yes, you can. <laughs> 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 Was old Ben really a leprechaun? It didn't matter. Thomas Cruz sold his pot of gold for $1,600,000 plus a sixth of all profits. He made the state house in Helena possible and paid for the site of the cathedral there, along with $100,000 to complete it. Luck of the Irish? Maybe. But then, who knows? <laughs>